Hey guys, B here. So we are back with Tales of the Black Forest. It's been a while since I've played it, to be honest, but... Okay, so I think we went back in time for the fox wedding to kind of figure out more about the... Oh yes, the rain shower. The sun rain shower thing. We're trying to collect that in order to get past to the one town that I cannot remember the name of. But the deer, yeah, we talked to the deer. Okay, 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 okay. This game is really cool and really interesting. There's just a lot going on and I forget it very easily. My poor brain is like... An eerie chewing sound came from one corner of the room. I'm sorry, I was not prepared for it. Um, I have no words, to be honest. This was like right out the start of the video. I was not <laughs> expecting that, but shit. Um, yeah, was not expecting that one. That is absolutely wild. Literally the start of the game and here we are. There's a strange woman in the corner and her face is covered in blood. She is eating something weird. Like, okay. I'm still standing here? Like, seems to be a watermelon. Okay. Choking sounds. Ooh. I like her ears. She has cool ears. She's also very pretty. Hey, I'm a girl. You're so rude, and you look like a Kagami Mochi mirror rice cake. I'm a pigeon. You're the rude one. <laughs> Excuse me, who are you? It's so obvious. I'm just a passerby. What kind of answer is that? Then how do you explain the ears on your head? And that Shirimuku... Shiro Shirimuku. Then how do you explain the ears on your head? And that Shirimuku. White kimono and hairpiece worn by brides at weddings at your feet. Oh, she must be the um the fox that ran away that we're trying to find or no, we weren't trying to find. Maybe we were. To be honest, I can't remember. Oh my. I forgot to hide them. You're the bride who skipped her own wedding. Yeah. Are you here to take me back? S don't be fooled by my appearance. My claws are very sharp. I'm not here to take you back. Perhaps it's because I ate your watermelon in secret. No to that either. The owner of the melon patch has... Anyways, I mean no harm to you. I see. You smell like a human. Aren't you a human? Yes. You could actually make your way here. I guess you're not an ordinary human. Right. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Tamasaki Shizu. Oh, I like the name Shizu. That's cute. I'm Kihara Kashin. Tamasaki-san. I like to ask a question. Okay, go ahead. Fades to black. Yes, I think I got most of it. I can help you get the sun shower rainwater. But before that, Kihara, I hope you can take me to Shikanaki Station. Weren't we just there? In other words, you're asking me to help you escape from your own wedding? Correct, Kihara. I don't know the groom at all. In order to secure their position on this land, my Tamasaki clan would ask me to marry an old yokai that I don't know at all. I have no feelings for that old guy and he already has dozens of wives. That's weird. I don't want to get married. My family is afraid I might escape, so they have imprisoned me. 
It wasn't easy for me to escape this place when it rained, but now I don't think I can get away. So if you can help me get out of here, I will definitely give you the thing you want, Kihara. What should I do? They can smell me, but if I'm the same size as your little pigeon, you can put me inside your satchel. Your smell should be able to mask mine. Whoa. There are so many foxes guarding the place out there. Don't worry. If they really catch me, I'll accept my fate. And I'll plead for you, Kihara. After all, I'm the Uchisama of Tamasaki clan. They won't harm you. All right, I will help you. What? <laughs> Kiara, you're really too accommodating. How could you simply believe this melon-stealing fox? But Tomosaki-san is also like us. She wants to get out of here. Not to mention we're also having a hard time escaping from this place right now. <gasps> I'm a little heart. Kiara, you're really so amazing. Little pigeon, you should watch and learn from your owner. His little face is so cute. <laughs> but I'm curious to know, why do you need the sun, sh sun shower rainwater? That is a really hard thing to say. To help Iyoku-sama. Since it's for Iyoku-sama, don't worry. I'll do my best to keep you safe. Kiara-san, let me know when you're ready. Okay. Are you ready? No. What is this? A somewhat moldy notebook. It seems the notebook records the sales of goods. The final date of the record is October 14th, 1995. Matsuyama was found dead on the 12th. This notebook should be from Matsuyama's wife. Why? I'm rather bothered by what the scarecrow said earlier. Was Matsuyama really hung by the villagers? In some religious groups, this kind of lynching happens a lot. Also, when Matsuyama was killed, the scarecrow heard those villagers shouting. According to the clue that was hidden under the seats cushion on the train station, Matsuyama seems to be afraid of letting others know that he is a member of them. I cannot pronounce that. Don't tell me that Matsuyama originally believed in some religion at Shikanaki Village. He was hung to death by other followers because he joined and took part in the gas attack. Yeah, that's possible. Religion at Shikanaki Village. Maybe that's Ikosama. Kiharachan. Don't look too much into that. Maybe we'll inquire about Shikanaki Village in Koromori Town. Yes. Makeup case poster. Snacks with a layer of dust displayed on the shelves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Piles of groceries, they are covered in dust and cobweb. A key covered with cobwebs. Obtain the key to the snack shop. I guess we're ready. Don't go out yet. Yeah, I don't know what else to look at. Maybe we can look out the window. Are you ready? Yes. Good, then I'll use my magic first. Both of you, guard that place. <gasps> oh shit. Does Tamasaki-san... Does Tamasaki-sama know about this? Ooh. Fox A. Okay. Fox B, of course. Tamasaki-sama knows... Ochusama has run away from the wedding, and he is so... Furious. If we can't find 
We're dead tucks. They said there's a scent of humans around this place. Is it possible that humans have abducted Tamasaki-san? Hell no. I heard Tamasaki has already given the order. If anyone finds out humans are behind it, slay those humans immediately. No exceptions. Even if pleads for mercy on their behalf. Is that really necessary? You don't know? It's those books by humans that corrupted Ujusama. That's why Tamasaki-sama hates humans the most. I see. Say, we haven't heard searched this building yet. Shit. Hey, what are you two doing? Boss, we haven't searched this building yet. Idiot. He stinks of dead human bodies inside. Or I would Tamasaki hide instead. Run along and search somewhere else. Well, that was close. Sorry I ruined it. Tamasaki-san. What are the books they were talking about? Our clan has never liked humans, including human stuff, but I've always loved human stuff since I was a kid, especially books written by humans. Because of that, my father would often scold me. The other foxes would mock me. In their eyes, I'm an odd one among the foxes. But I don't care what they think of me. I want to go to the human world, get to know humans better. This wedding was arranged in advance to my family's interests to advance my family's interests, and I was offered as a sacrifice, so I made up my mind to get out of here and go to the human world. Sorry, this should have been a private affair. Sorry to get you involved, because I was willful. I should show myself an endless mercy. Mess early. Tamasaki, the human world is not as beautiful as you imagined. Yes, I'm too naive, but if you don't see the outside world with your own eyes, you will regret it your whole life. Kihara. My favorite writer once wrote a poem. I walk through the thorny bushes full of scratches, and the harbinger of death hovers above my head, but I still want to press ahead and go across the high mountains, because the view over there is fantastic. This is Kobayashi Sen Sensei's poem. I also like it very much. Since you've come to this point, don't turn back. But, Kihara, you're not in an imaginary world. Those guys outside will really hurt you. Maybe there's a way to avoid that danger outside. I'm not sure if it works, but I'd like to give it a try. Huh? Tomosaki, could you lend me your wristwatch? Yes. Obtained. Watch. Now, it's 5.20 in the evening. All set. I need to wear this watch on my wrist to ensure success. Briefly, I can read the memory of an electrical appliance at a certain time. The appliance will change location whenever we travel back in time. Now that I'm wearing this watch, we can return to this watch's memory at 5.20 if we get into any danger. This way, the person wearing the watch would come back to this room along with the watch. You're a genius. I don't really understand, but since you have decided to help me, I'll also try my best to assist you. Okay, let's sit out now. 520. I feel like we need to remember that. I was not prepared for this shit. It's heavily guarded. We need to be careful until we reach Shinakane, Shikanaki Station. Hmm. This rain is timely. We should be able to elude these foxes if we're careful. Yo, the lovely Kumusami Chan over here. Wait, I see you from your eyes that you are lost. Are you asking me what I'm looking for? Eh? There are human bones hidden under one of the watermelons. Sigh, stupid scarecrow. You can't scare us anymore. Eh? <laughs> Foxes can see anything within a semicircle. Within a semicircle, okay. 
and the range of vision is quite far. Avoid showing up within the semicircle in front of them. Is he going to show me the semicircle? bad. That was close. Looks like this method works. Please be careful. This is, this is the fox forest. The wedding party would set off from the fox forest, cross a magical barrier, and reach Shikonaki village. The bridge we passed just now is a portal in the barrier. Although I could open a portal with my magic and go back to Shikonaki village, I spent too much mana right now. I would read, need to rest a bit. But the fog is heavy here. It would probably be harder for them to notice us. The foxes in the fox forest have a shorter range of vision, and they tend to move around more frequently. When it's time to act, seize the opportunity. It's heavily guarded, so it's dangerous if we go there directly. Let's see, there's another way across. Why is there a radio here? Maybe the other foxes stole... No. Picked it up from the villagers. <laughs> Actually, some foxes also like human stuff as much as I do. But my father hates them. That's why they hide these things in, place, in places like this. Seems the radio can still be turned on. This is Cormorancho. Nighttime news. Coming up next is the... At present, a mastermind behind a theater gas attack is still unidentified and the one member of the theater crew was found dead at home from taking poison. Po police suspect that. The feather is shining brightly. Uh, it's night time now? Radio is probably broadcasting yesterday's evening news and Ninja has brought us back to that seen at night. This function is so convenient. Right. Be careful with the fox with the firefoxes at night. Those are dangerous. Right. I'd better set this place set this place as the point for Ninja to backtrack first. I have set Fox Forest entrance as the point for Ninja to backtrack. If the place feels too dark, press A to use flashlight. Or can I just... What am I supposed to do with that? Alright. Well, I didn't realize that's... Okay. Okay, okay, okay.
Well, how, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, can I get through here? No. Feels like I should, though. I don't, I don't get it. Oh, I can sprint. I didn't know I could sprint. I don't understand how we're supposed to... We're just supposed to eat back and forth. Yeah, I don't get it. I like how we just like completely just I don't understand. Because that fox is there. Are we supposed to maybe go this way? There's no way back. Well, then what are we supposed to do? I'm so confused. Because we made it through here. But then how are we supposed to get further with that dude there? I don't understand. Because uh, surely this is here for a reason. But like, what's, what for, you know? Am I supposed to let him see me? And then we just make a run for it? Oh, maybe that's it. Oh. oh, shit. I have to go all the way back here? You, there's no, no. Oops, that was my bad. So I have to go all the way through this without getting caught. That's kind of BS. Okay. I don't like being chased like that, to be honest. <laughs> Did he just... <gasps> oh, shit. Well, how am I supposed to... I probably was being dumb. I almost got hit by that. We're just gonna eat... Eat right across. Oh shit. Ah! Ah, 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 ah! <laughs> I 
pass it. Why is this so much harder than I expected it to be? Oh! Alright, that one was BS. I've walked a lot closer to him than that before. Alright. I don't like having to be chased. It's spooky. Okay, okay. Yeah, how do I... The last guy always fucks me up. And then I have to go all the way back here. This one's not so bad, once I finally figured out how to do it, but then the other one, I don't know. I hate, he walks, he like runs at you so fast. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, this one, I have no idea what we're supposed to do. This one's easy now. <sighs> the last one always gets me for that damn walkthrough. I don't like how fast he's going. Oh, maybe I need a sprint. I haven't tried sprinting. You know what? That would have been helpful to know. I forget that we can sprint. <laughs> Seems like we're safe now. Better set this place as a point for Ninja to backtrack. <sighs> Finally. Whew. I completely forgot I could sprint. That would have made things so much easier. The signboard has strange characters written on it. It doesn't seem to be Japanese. I've never seen these kind of characters before. Our fox clans use these characters. What does it say? Um, it roughly means stupid humans get out of our territory. <laughs> roughly. Even if they want to protest, they should write it in a language humans could understand. <laughs> I mean, true. Ooh. It's a dead end. tamasaki sent. have you recovered your powers? I have only recovered two-thirds of it. After all, I've been starving for a long time. I remember a swan boat would always stop here at daytime. We can reach the center of the lake with that boat. Foxes can't swim, so they probably won't pursue us. Seems we can use Ninja on that lamp head. Um, but the fox that's guarding this place will wake up at daytime. It'd be risky just to return here during daytime without doing anything else. If only we can break the bridge. Okay. Okay, we need the axe, okay? Obtained axe. Yeah, it's so much nicer to fucking sprint, man. I cannot believe. Let's see if this axe can, axe can break the bridge. Now he's not going to wake up to any of that noise. The guard probably can't come over now. Okay. Are you sure you want to use? Yes. D 
Do me a favor and tell my parents I'll never come back. The feather is shining brightly. Hmm? Huh. Oh, that's cute. I like her little ears. They're adorable. Oh my god! Eco Sama, Eco Sama. I want to go to the world where humans live. Oh, that's what Eco Sama looks like. Interesting. Why do you want to go to their world? Humans are really interesting. They have that, um, uh, I can't remember the name, but anyway, they're really interesting. Oh, she's adorable. If you want to go to their world, you have to learn how to communicate with them first. What is communicate? You're speaking with the lisp now, and it's hard to fit in the human world like that. Oh. I will try my best to learn. Besides, the human language, you also need to learn a lot of the things. A lot of things, such as human etiquette, their knowledge, and their living habits. Hmm, Ikosama, please tell me how I learn all these. Humans love recording things and pass them to others. They would write it on a kind of item called book. If you want to see them, I can give you some of the books by humans. Really? Thank you. She's adorable. I love her so much. Oh. Grown up. Oh. She's a teenager. Ikosama, I have learned quite a bit on the human language. May I go to the human world now? Can you tell me why you want to go to their world? I've learned something called freedom in their books, and I want to pursue that thing. Aren't you free now? Um, my father would never let me learn anything about humans, and my mother had told me that they would marry me off to some yokai from another place when I get older. And the other foxes would secretly call me a weirdo and mock me for having, for fancying human stuff. So Ikusama, I want to get out of here, and I want to find that freedom. We're finding, we're riding a boat on the lake right now. Do you feel carefree? Yes. You're carefree while boating on the lake now, and you can go to any place you want. But what if I make that boat disappear? Huh? Ah, oh, the boat is gone. Under normal circumstances, you would fall into the water, and the currents would swallow you. There are rules to survive in human society, just like fish and prawns and water and foxes in these parts. To live in the human world, you need money, skills, and power. You need a lot of those things, which you don't have. Even if you have all of those, it's not easy to live in the human world. As far as I know, the human world is going through a great disaster called an economic crisis. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Millions of people are starving with no place to stay. Even if some committed su- Some even committed suicide. Alright. In spite of all these, you would still want to go to the human world and pursue that freedom? I- Sweetie, you can come to me again when you have figured it out. Well, that got really fucking deep. Jesus. Kasama, check this out. I got a license from humans. With this license, I could become a teacher. Then I'll have a stable income. I've also made friends with a lot of humans. Smile. Hey, Kasama, why are you smiling? For decades, I've tried to talk some sense into you, but you've never given up on the idea to going to the world where humans live. Why are you so insistent on that? Hey, Kasama, I once thought of running away... I once thought of running away from here because I was curious and rebellious. When I learned about the human world, I realized it's not that beautiful. I need to earn money to survive, sacrifice my time for leisure, and force myself to smile at strangers. Anyway, I need to put up with lots of nonsense. I finally understand the price for freedom is not having that freedom, and the goal is not a, and the goal in not having freedom is being free. And humans would actually survive in that 
quandary between having freedom and not having freedom for thousands of years. I want to know the reason, and I want to know humans better. Now, I finally understood at Ikusama. What I like is not the result of pursuing that freedom, but this process. The process of controlling my own destiny. Huh. Looks like you don't need me to guide you anymore. Aw. Thank you, Ikosama. Actually, I know you never intended to stop me from leaving this place. Thanks to your guidance, now I know what I really want. Since you want to be a teacher among humans, turn what you have learned into knowledge and enlighten new lives. Yes, Ikosama, I won't let you down. Ikosama, I'll come back to visit you whenever I'm free. Tamasaki, you only need to go ahead and pursue your own destiny. No need to think about me. Besides, I'm also about to start my own journey. Ah, where are you going? To a distant place. Then, will you come back? Yes. Compared to my life long, compared to my long life, this is just a short trip. Where is he going? This game is so interesting. There's just so much stuff. It's kind of hard to read through, at least out loud. But it's very, very interesting. Right, Tamasaki, are you alright? We're now at... I don't know what happened. I passed out right after activating Ninja. We were on the swan boat when I woke up. This is Karisanusi. Karisanusi? I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Ikosama's garden. Why are we here? Speaking of which, the boat seems to be stuck on something firm since just now. It's an electric boat. I'll start mentioning again. Okay. Auto save. Hey, we made it back. Ah! We're just on top of the station. Like, that's normal. This is Shinikani Station. To be exact, the roof of the station. Why did we land here? That's your question, you fool. This roof doesn't look sturdy at all. Oh. Uh. Oh, now we figured out what left the hole, though. <laughs> Phew, luckily the roof isn't that high. We have smashed a big hole in the floor. This station is going to be abandoned sooner or later. No one will blame us. But we know. We know. <laughs> Kiara, it'll be at least ten minutes before the train will arrive. Rest a bit. Mm -hmm. By the way, you're going to Kormori Town, right? I have a small dwelling in Kormori Town, and I'm not using it now. If you're tired, you can rest there. The dwelling is in the apartment next to the ba basketball court. I feel like we're going to have to remember that. Here's the key. Thank you. Obtained key to the fox's small dwelling. Before I leave, you can ask me if you have question. You can ask me if you have any questions about Kormori Town. I'll try my best to answer. Hmm. Okay. There's a moldy letter in the cabinet. I know things would eventually be revealed, and my husband also died from the violence, all of which is retribution. But the unorthodox rites that are carried out in the village are even more abdominal than... Hmm. I'm leaving the evidence in a small box inside my store. I hope that the person who reads this letter will expose the truth to the public. Seems Matsuyama's wife wrote this letter. The letter said the, the letter said a cult in Shinikani, Shikaniki village is more cruel. Hmm. Does it have anything to do with the new deity that that deer mentioned? Ooh, maybe. Obtained a mystery report letter. This ready to an inch early, but this we should be going to 98. Okay. I guess we could ask her questions. 
trains. Emergency notice. Did anyone notice a person carrying suspicious containers inside the train? Okay. A fruit poster that has turned yellow. A theater troupe flyer that has turned yellow. Okay. A Tory theater troupe will bring will be bringing the classic dramas on stage at 6 p.m. this Sunday at Cormori Choke. Mm -hmm. Starring the famous movie star Endo Mugumi. October 16th, 1993. Movie poster. Okay, so we really can't do much. I guess let's talk to her. What would you like to know? Um, Kaur Mori is right across the apartment where I live. It's a theater built to commemorate the Shikanaki miracle, and it has been closed to 20 years since it was built. But the theater encountered setbacks after the economic crisis several years ago. Last year, which was the year 1995. Okay, so we're in, we're in 1996 right now. A gas attack happened near the theater, and it was able, and it was a big blow to the theater. I remember a gas attack also occurred on the train on train 135 at Koromori Station. Yes, the dates of the two incidents were quite close. It's probably a response to the Tokyo Eden subway gas attack by fanatical followers. I usually pay attention to such things, so I would often gather some information consciously. There's some detailed articles about these two attacks in my room. If you're interested, you can look through them. Okay. Um, the past. Yeah, let's do the village's past. To be honest, I like being surrounded with people, so I would often go to Koromori Town once I learned to explore my surroundings. I don't know Shikanaki's village that well. All I know about Shikaniki Village is that it's a village with hundreds of years of history. During the Taisho period, it prospered from the mining industry, but fell into de decay because of the war shortly afterwards. After the war, Shikaniki Village began to develop its agriculture. The fruits and vegetables grown were sold all over Japan, especially their watermelon. They are very tasty. Shikaniki Village flourished again thanks to their agricultural developments in this period history called the Shikaniki Miracle. Oh, okay, that was mentioned earlier. But the village declined again because of the economic crisis which started several years ago. Tamasaki, do you know what deity do the people in Shikaniki Village worship besides Ikusama? I can't answer this question. Hmm? Do you know the deities hear our words? We can't call a deity's name whenever we like. Of course, Ikosama is a kind and benevolent deity. It's fine to mention his name any time. But not all deities are kind. Calling a deity's name without thinking may bring misfortune. So it's better if you don't know about that deity. What would you like to know? Where do you plan on going? I'm going to teach Japanese at a senior high school in Tokyo after this. Really? Of course. It took me a lot of effort to earn that teacher's license. Tamasaki, that's impressive indeed. You could visit me in Tokyo. Mm-hmm. Kiara, what would you like to know? Well, we've already learned. Oh. Huh. The train has finally arrived. And that little pigeon, thank you very much for accompanying me on this journey. Without your help, I might have stayed in, in this mountain forever. I'll always remember your kindness. I'll always remember your determination in pursuing your freedom. Aw, cute. I'm beginning to like you more and more. Aw. So according to our deal, I should give you the sun shower rainwater. Ah, sorry, I forgot to find a container for the rainwater. You don't need a container. A bottle of, this, of the size of your eye drops is enough. I happen to have one. 
Actually, Sunshire rainwater is normal rainwater mixed with the fox's tears. Normally, I wouldn't cry, but you have risked your life for me, life to help me, so I'll try my best to force out some tears. That's funny. Done. Kiara song. Obtain some sun shower rainwater. Thank you, Tomosaki. Iko-sama would definitely be so proud of you. Since both of you came two years later, um, is Iko-sama doing well? <gasps> no, we can't tell her that he's dead. He is okay. And it's a relief, because I heard from the foxes in my clan lately that fewer humans believe in Iko-sama. Tamasaki-san, all is well with Iko-sama. He's also hoping that you continue pursuing your freedom and never look back. Give my regards to Iko-sama for, for when you're back. It's time to go. You, you forgot this. Hmm? This watch seems useful to you. You can keep it. This watch was worn a lot, and you still wear it. It means a lot to you, right? Iko-sama gave it to me on my 15th birthday. Oh, you better keep it then. Think of, uh, think of it as Iko-sama is always around with you. Kihara-san, thank you so much. It's an honor to meet you and Iko-sama in my life. I don't want to part from you, but until we meet again. Until we meet again. Aw, she's so lovely. Slowly walked to the train and threw away the mundane thoughts and shackles. A day ago, it was like many of my peers. I was sitting in an empty classroom and doing boring exercises. Within a short time, I hope a fox gain her freedom, dodged life-threatening situations, that damn lady and her baby, and turned a train station upside down. <laughs> I could never imagine all these. I have no idea what's in the deep, dark forest, but I want to press ahead, and it's now more resolute than before. Alrighty. Well, I think that's a good place to stop. I'm really glad we helped her out. I thought she was going to be kind of mean at first, and I did not know she was eating a watermelon at first because I was like, oh shit, we're about to be jump scared and chased. But luckily... It actually ended up being, like, super wholesome. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to end it here because we're probably, we're going to, I'm assuming our next step is to bring the sun, sh sun shower rain water to the deer. And hopefully Ikosama, like, comes back to life or, like, something because I feel really bad that he's pretty much dead. We lied to, um, we lied to the fox. But... It was for the better. We didn't need to tell her right as she was about to set out her journey that he's died. <laughs> but anyways, I am enjoying this game so far. It is a little bit tedious having to read so much. Um, so what I might do in the future is I might just kind of read it and like give you a chance to read it yourself instead of me reading it out loud, especially because I don't know how to pronounce a lot of the words. I think that might be easier for us to just kind of read it on our own and kind of go from there um because it's a lot it is a lot of reading um other than that it's very interesting you get a lot of history granted I don't know how accurate the history is if it's like actual history of Japan kind of sprinkled in to the storyline like the economic crisis and stuff like that I wonder if some of that actually has to tie into Japanese um, history. I don't know. Uh, but I do find it interesting. It's very, um, it's very, very detailed. And a lot of those, a lot of the puzzle pieces are starting to come together. Um, the clan and the new deity, something seems like it's evil happening with um, not only that one clan that did all the gas attacks, but um, as that wife said, something with the village and the new deity, like something's going on. So I have a feeling that we're definitely going to figure that out pretty soon. But 
I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. Like I said, next few, like the next episodes here on out, I probably won't read it out loud, but I will give you enough time to either pause and read or read it on your own because it is getting a little too much. And I don't know how to pronounce the words, so it's a struggle for the both of us, most likely. Um, but yeah, leave a like, comment below what you guys think, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!